Yo, what's going on YouTube? Apoxy here. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Fallout Script Extender for Fallout 3 or FOSE, whatever you want to call it. And it's actually pretty simple. So anyways, you can go ahead and click the link down in the description on A's below. And then you can go ahead and click this link right here, right beside the download. And what this will do is actually allow you to save this file to wherever you want. I'm going to save it to the desktop for simplicity. And then we're going to go ahead and extract it with either WinRAR or 7-Zip, depending on what you have. To extract it with WinRAR, you click this button right here, extract here, or to extract it with 7-Zip, you go to this drop down menu here and click extract here. If you don't have either of these programs here, all you have to do is search up 7-Zip or WinRAR on Google and go ahead and download it from the actual page. All right, so we're going to actually extract it with WinRAR here and we can do so by clicking extract here and it'll quickly extract and it should just take about five seconds and then you'll get this folder right here. We're going to go ahead and open up this folder and you should see all these files inside of it. Now what we're going to want to do is actually open up the Fallout 3 directory within the Steam directory and we can do so by going to the start menu, clicking computer, going to local disk, going to program files 86, finding Steam which should be near the bottom, and then find Steam apps, go to common, go to follow 3, and then inside here what we're actually going to want to do is take all these files and drag them over. Alright, so the files that you do not need are the text files right here, so the FOSE what's new and the readme, and then also the FOSE command document, and then also the source folder. So you do not need those files right there, you can go ahead and delete them, but I'm going to go ahead and keep these files here just because I like to have them there. So we can go ahead and just copy the files over now, and that is literally basically all the steps to installing FOSE. Now what you're going to want to do is actually launch up the FOSE loader.exe here, and we can do so by just double clicking and hitting run. That's going to launch up Fallout 3, and that is how you're going to run your game from now on. You are indeed going to have to run it from the FOSE loader because it does not connect to the actual executable. So you are going to have to launch it from the FOSE loader, but if you're using a mod manager, you'll actually be able to set up a actual shortcut so that you can just go ahead and launch the game from the FOSE loader as default. So anyways, once we launch up on the main menu here, we'll actually be able to check whether FOSE installed correctly by simply typing in a command into the console command. So we can do this by hitting the console command key and then typing in get FOSE version. Hit enter and then bam it should say FOSE version 1. And that is how you install FOSE for Fallout 3 and yes it's that simple. Hopefully you guys did get something out of this video and if you guys are enjoying the Fallout 3 videos please smack that like button down below and subscribe to join the good fight it would be super greatly appreciated. But until next time this is Epoxy signing off.